Why was Darth Vader shocked about Luke Skywalker's lightsaber in Return of the Jedi? And how did the build of the lightsaber, and more importantly its coloration, hearken to Vader about a vision that he had had? A vision of the death of his son, and a vision of the death of himself. Welcome back to the Archives, Acolytes of the Galaxy, we've been expecting you. And today, we will take a look at one of my favorite moments in all of Star Wars, when Darth Vader examines Luke Skywalker's lightsaber, indicating that Luke himself is becoming a fully formed Jedi Knight, and that his training is far along. So now, Acolytes, let us open up this holocron and examine the contents within. When Darth Vader meets Luke Skywalker on the forest moon of Endor after he surrenders and examines his lightsaber, he's actually filled with a sense of pride, but also fear. Fear, not because of Luke and the weapon that he has constructed, but because of a vision that he was granted. In Legends continuity, before Darth Vader ever dueled Luke Skywalker on the world of Bespin and would take his hand and his original lightsaber, mere moments after Darth Vader was told that Luke was in fact his son by Sidious, Vader was granted a vision through the Force, a vision wherein he, the newfound Emperor, and Luke Skywalker were together on his castle on the world of Vajun. Here, both Luke and Vader were celebrating their success and the death of the Emperor, deciding what to do next with their lives and how to rule the galaxy as Darksiders. However, in a moment of shock, the specter of Darth Sidious appears, or rather, it could be Sidious's dead body, reborn and ignites the entire castle with a wave of fire the likes of which Vader has never seen before. Shocked, the fire begins to consume Luke first, as Vader is protected by his cybernetic suit. Sidious cackles as the young Skywalker burns, with Luke reaching out and screaming for help from his father. His father, who too is being defeated by Sidious, dominated by his ultimate dark side control, and begins to succumb to the fire as well. Darth Vader's final moments are watching his son burn, and then, he too was consumed. So what exactly does this tell us? Well, it actually informs Return of the Jedi and Darth Vader's plan to kill or turn Luke Skywalker very much so. This is why Darth Vader was so loyal to the Emperor even in Return of the Jedi up until the very end. Darth Vader believed that if Luke and him were to join forces and overthrow the Emperor, then this would be their ultimate fate. The Force had granted Anakin Skywalker visions in the past, and all of these visions in themselves came true, with the death of his mother, and later his wife Padme. So, because of this, Darth Vader was not willing to test fate this time and was not willing to lose Luke. In the vision, Darth Vader notes two very important things. Again, keep in mind this vision occurred before the duel on Bespin. Darth Vader notes that Luke has a cybernetic hand, and he also notes that he has a brand new lightsaber. When Darth Vader encounters Luke on Endor, and the two of them speak, Darth Vader examines the lightsaber very closely, and sees that Luke now has a black cybernetic hand, thanks to the novel The Rise and Fall of Darth Vader. We know that Vader is actually thinking about his vision at this very moment, realizing that Luke's hand is identical to the vision that he had, and more than this, that the lightsaber that he sees and holds now within his hand is also identical to the vision, confirming to Vader the ultimate fate if he attempts to turn Luke, and together they destroy the Emperor. Darth Vader also notes the color of the lightsaber, which is something that he never got a look at in the vision. Of course in all of Star Wars lore, including Legends continuity, the color of a lightsaber is highly important. Anakin's lightsaber was of course blue, and now, holding within his hand, he saw an emerald blade. This subtly indicated into the very spirit of Darth Vader, reaching down to perhaps even Anakin, that Luke was different, and perhaps Perhaps he could be better. The green lightsaber indicated a Jedi Consular, and were typically used by Jedi who have strong abilities in the Force but do not seek combative practices very often. They are the scholars and thinkers of the Jedi Order, and typically Grand Masters hold green lightsabers. This is due to the fact that typically Jedi Consulars made for better Grand Masters than Guardians did. Typically Consulars would focus on meditation and negotiations in place of violence. This indicated to Darth Vader that perhaps Luke could be better than Anakin better than Obi-Wan even, and perhaps Luke was seeking more just ways in using the Force. What's beautiful about this moment though, is that Darth Vader's change, and why he ultimately decides to destroy the Emperor and sacrifice himself to save Luke, is a decision that is not actually made out of fear, or a decision because Luke is identical to what he saw in the vision but he makes this choice because he is identical, and makes the promise and commitment to himself that unlike Anakin, Vader will save his family. This moment comes when Darth Vader decides to make the drastic decision at the end of the climactic duel between Luke and himself, as Vader receives a different interpretation on his vision, following the merging of the vision and reality. 
Darth Vader commits himself entirely to the protection of his son, realizing that in the vision, he was concerned with Luke's survival as well as his own. He was more concerned with killing the Emperor to preserve himself as well as his son than only Luke. And that is why, when the final climactic moment comes, Darth Vader puts all of his effort into killing Sidious for the sake and love of his son, a reality that beautifully harkens back to Anakin Skywalker and his various decisions, especially the death of Padme. It is true that Anakin desperately attempted to prevent Padme's death, but he also put his own goals and ambitions above his wife. On Mustafar, Anakin Skywalker was completely consumed with his newfound powers and was focused on furthering his powers and his goals to become the Sith Emperor. He was not thinking of Padme at all. This even is stated in the Revenge of the Sith novelization, where the dark side of the Force imparts upon Darth Vader himself just following his cybernetic reconstruction, that when he finally had a moment to think of Padme, he was thinking of himself. This was the mistake that Anakin made, and this is a mistake that Darth Vader would never make again. It is this beautiful sacrifice to save his son, a moment where Darth Vader is no longer selfish, and by not being selfish, literally spits in the face of the dark side itself and the Sith. And it is because of this decision that the Force and destiny itself allows Vader to save his son. And Darth Vader triumphs where Anakin had failed. A lovely culmination to the story of Anakin Skywalker. And that is why, my friends, I love Star Wars so much. Looking at the true souls of good people turned bad, and bad people who never wanted to be. How a son that represented a future to Darth Vader was the only one that could pull him back from the clutches of the darkness. With Luke in many ways representing what Anakin Skywalker never was. A selfless man who was dedicated to his order. Dedicated to his order beyond simply craving power and the protection of others. Luke Skywalker in many ways is the culmination of what Anakin Skywalker could have been. But it is because of Anakin and because of Vader that Luke even takes this approach to begin with. This moment is so brilliant that Darth Vader changes his mind not because what he saw in his vision and what he sees in Luke are different but because they are the same, and that he has been down this road before, realizing that if he acts selfishly in any way, the Emperor and the Empire will prevail, and Vader will always be slave to the Emperor. He was in fact his slave, until his very final moments. But in the end, it was Vader's love for his son, and love for his family, that screamed louder than his lust for power, and screamed louder than the allure of the dark side itself. But anyway, my friends, students, and acolytes, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on this massive revelation of Darth Vader, a vision that he had of Luke and him together on Vajun, and how the similarities between his vision, Luke, and his lightsaber, all culminating in Vader deciding to save his son above his own life? As always, my friends and students, thank you for joining me in this holocron, and thank you for loving Star Wars just as much as I do. May the Force be with you, and I hope to see you in our next session.